Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Conspiracy 2, Take the Crown, and whether or not it is time to buy on this set, and the answer is yes. Uh, typically, I'm not bullish on boxes. You guys know that I like boxes to open with friends and play with. I'm not really investing in boxes because I like singles better. It's easier to account for it. And to be quite honest, shipping, I hate shipping stuff. So... It makes sense. Shipping, uh, shipping singles is a lot easier than shipping boxes. So Conspiracy Take the Crown, there is a $50, $60 mythic in this set. And that it's not show and tell. It's not berserk. It's not the ones that you would believe would be that price. And the card started at, I think, $10. Leovald. And we also have a $26 mythic on top of it. Which is, again, not show and tell and not berserk. And not Recruiter. There's so many good cards in this set. I just, my gut feeling is at $75, there's a place I ordered online today. And there's a place online called Dave and Adams. You can buy these boxes for $75, shipping anywhere in the US for free, minus, I, I believe, Alaska and what's the other? Hawaii. Yeah, Alaska and Hawaii, obviously, is shipping to those two places. It's kind of like a different country almost. Very intriguing. The set does have a very good expected value. At $75, that's, that wasn't bad. I order from that store when I want to get free stuff. Because after, like, if you order enough, I order sports cards as well. So putting, going over $200, which gives me the free shipping, is super easy. Because a box of National Treasures, a lot of you won't know what that is, is $468 right now from the baseball edition. So I ordered a box of National Treasures, two, uh, two boxes of this, and then I called my local game store. They have 18 boxes left. They have essentially two sealed cases, and in one case they cracked open, but no one wanted to buy it. They are willing to sell it to me for $62.50 if I buy them all today in cash. It's a 45-minute drive. I, I hate like driving to that part of town. I live in the north northeast of Houston. This place is in the southeast of Houston, kind of where my old office used to be in Galleria. So it's a it's a long drive, and hopefully there's no traffic or accidents. But I mean, there always is in Houston. So I like it. I love this set. I mean, value wise, yes, I understand it's an unlimited print run. I've looked at the numbers. I've considered all the factors, and my gut, my gut as well as just the information i've gathered about this set there's some very good cards that haven't spiked yet i don't know what they are but i do know that for commander and edh modern is very stale standard is very stale the only thing i see growth is in commander which is ironic because where's the coast didn't actually invent this format right so the one format that is doing very well right now is the one format where the coast has the least interaction with and also did not invent. They just kind of piggybacked on it. So I love this set. You know, I love this set to draft. I love this set to hold. I, I Again, I'm not a big fan of sealed boxes because of shipping. Shipping is horrendous on sealed boxes and you will lose so much money. Like you will lose so much money shipping these things. That's why I pretty much just buy singles because if I have... A single and it's very good like Sahili Ra people will buy her in four and then I'll be able to ship her off in a bubbler wrapper wrapper and that's fine but boxes are really difficult to ship uh, and shipping is quite expensive on those again I typically don't make videos like this but if you like videos like this where I just give you direct information I lay out what I'm currently doing. So this happened today. I called, right now it's like 10.41 a.m. I called the store at 10, uh, or 10 like 15 or something after I got Starbucks. And they were, and I asked how many they'd have. They had 18, they wanna sell it for 62.50 in cash, which means they lost money. They're gonna lose money in this set, but that means there's money to be made. And I know in David Adams, they're selling it for $75 a set, a bo sorry, a box. And $75 a box includes free stuff, includes free shipping after you buy $200 worth, which is essentially just free boxes. This set, 
I mean, to to see a set at sixty two dollars and fifty cents is insane, right? Insane. Like, yes, I do need to pay cash, and yes, I do need to pick it up. And I don't know if there's tax on the sixty two fifty. I assume there will be because I've dealt with this store, and they typically they always tell me a price, and then they put tax on it, and then I pay the tax via credit card. It's a really weird system. I don't really know how to explain it to you. I accept that it's just been I've been doing this for the last four or five years with this store, so we kind of uh, have an understanding. They need, why why would the store sell it for sixty two fifty? They need to buy a for revolt. They need to restock. That is a new set. It will sell. Modern Masters is coming soon. They need to buy that. They can't hold on to conspiracy, right? They would much rather have a box of Modern Masters two thousand seventeen and be able to order as much as that as they can than just a whole case of conspiracy which they haven't moved since it came out anyway uh, leave me a comment below if you guys agree disagree bye guys